Well, hello there. Today, we're going to use Excel and learn how to make a scatter plot. So a scatter plot can give you an idea of whether or not two interval scale variables are related or correlated. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is have two variables. All right, I have something here that I'm calling variable x. And I'm calling it that because we're going to plot that along the x-axis. All right, another way it can be referred to is the independent variable. Okay, then I'm going to need something to plot along the y-axis, and I'm calling it the y variable, and uh, that's called the dependent variable. All right, so eventually we might use values of x to predict values of y. Okay, so we're all ready then to make our scatter plot. All I need to do is select the data. I'm going to start at the first x value. All right, lots of ways to, to select data, but I'm just going to move down to the last value, hold the shift key, and then left click to select the whole range of data. From there, I go to the insert menu. Okay, I go over to the charts group. I select scatter. And then I'm going to select the very first uh, option here, scatter with only markers and click. And there it is. There's your scatter plot. Okay, so from this scatter plot, we can see that, okay, as values of x tend to increase, uh, values of y's also tend to increase. This is the definition of positively correlated data. Okay, one thing you might have to do is, uh, is change the scale of the y-axis to make the graph look a little more presentable. Okay, a Excel has this habit of wanting to make the y-axis intercept at zero if it can. Okay, in this graph it's not too bad, but in it, graphs that you may make, the data may end up getting sort of bunched up in the upper uh, right corner somehow if the y axis is not intercepting um, properly. All right, so if you want to change where it intercepts, I'm going to hover over the y axis somewhere, right click, select format axis, and then the very first value in the format axis dialog box minimum i'm going to change it from auto to fixed all right and i'll change this one just a little bit because i can but you can change it uh, as needed in your data i'll just change it to one and then close it okay so i don't want the date the points actually bumping the x-axis all right and uh, there you have it there's your scatter plot so thanks for watching bye bye now